Hello, everyone. I'm John Chioffi, Chairman and CEO of Asia Inc. Uh, we welcome you all to Asia's Equip product pre-launch here today. And perhaps it's appropriate that we're all participating virtually because Asia's new Equip product will indeed help us all to work more productively, collaboratively, and of course, remotely. But first, a few words about Asia Inc. You may not know it, but Asia may well be helping your internet connection right now. If your internet connection runs smoothly, perhaps we're there. And if not, you may need us. Since Asia's Stanford spin out inception 17 years ago, Asia's goal has been the use of our significant software artificial intelligence capabilities to improve your internet connections reliable speed. This reliable speed is sometimes called your throughput. ASIA's full name is Adaptive Spectrum and Signal Alignment, and ASIA's artificial intelligence technologies do very much so align your signals and adapt your spectrum to make your throughput better. Uh, ASIA does this for over 100 million connections around the globe that serve over a half a billion internet users and things at roughly 40 major internet service providers. ASIA is also my wife and co-founder's first name. Asia Inc. product names often reflect her French heritage, like Equip, as we will see. Now back to Equip. The global pandemic causes many of us to work from home, especially now depending more on our internet connections. For instance, pre-pandemic, only 6% of employees work from home. As the pandemic arrived, that grew overnight to 50%. Many employees' successful work from home experiences have led to expectations that over 30% will continue to work from home significantly, even after vaccines are found. Now, ASIA's huge global footprint of connection data tells us that downlink use is up 30 to 50% since the pandemic, and uplink is up even more, as high as 50 to 100%. Now, while some internet service providers have made heroic efforts to try to address this problem, there are still issues. Uh, and for instance, my other employer, Stanford University, had a survey of 6,000 students in the second quarter, the spring quarter this year, all of whom were working from home or, or learning remotely, if you will. 85% said they were affected negatively by working at home. And one out of six, so 1,000 out of the 6,000, believed that the internet connection not work functioning properly was the major source of their difficulty. For employers, it's even worse, especially collaborative video conferences. If one employee on a video conference has a problem and no one can hear them, they have to repeat themselves, that's a pro productivity loss for all of the employees. Or if they have to restart the conference call again, that's a productivity loss. Or even a more mild case of the employee turning off their video so that their audio hopefully works better, can lead to the absence of the ability of managers and other employees to see if they're disengaging from the conversation, which is a productivity loss as well. Which brings us to the name Equip. Equip, which is pronounced équipe in French, means team. So a group of employees product, uh, uh, collaborating pr productively, product, uh, Productively is uh, a team, and so whence the name. In English, equip means, of course, to empower someone. So we're empowering the employees to be able to work more productively, productively, productively. Now, there are other things beyond conference calls that affect the productivity as well, which are file upload download limitations, and they are also um, impacting our productivity. So how is Aussie going to do this? Well, through ASIA Equip's new invention, which we call WorkPut. WorkPut measures the employee's productivity value component that relates to their internet connectivity. WorkPut is similar to, but not the same as throughput. ASIA Equip adaptively learns WorkPut from the data that we collect. ASIA then reports and optimizes WorkPut for individual employees, employee groups, and of course the employer itself and their productivity. What type of data do we collect? Well, there will be real-time indications, thumbs up for everything's working, thumbs down uh, for video conference participants, and they can apply that to a participant 
who is actually having difficulty or they're having difficulty hearing them. There are also video conference exit scores that are used and man management's evaluations as well as employees evaluations and other metrics that a company will use to evaluate its productivity. Now, OSIA's equip correlates these measures against electronic measures like packet losses, outages, congestion, signal levels, and other indications that tell us that the electronic nature of the link is not functioning as well as it could. Uh, Equip then consequently will tune the connection controls, including work from home devices, prior, flow prioritization, which allows us to prioritize the work from home signals, as well as the use possibly of a second connection when necessary to improve the work put. Now, Equip will generate a new revenue stream for ASIA, for our internet service provider customers who are looking for such new revenue streams because we believe that employers are going to be willing to pay for this improvement in the work put or their productivity. Now, you'll be hearing from us as well as several of our partners, which include internet service providers, IT service providers, conference call app suppliers, equipment vendors, and others during the, both the panel and the various testimonials that you'll hear, hear during the course of this program. So we hope that you'll join us here at ASIA and all our partners uh, whom you will be seeing in improving all our work put with Equip. The new normal starts with a strong connection. Learn how you can be a part of the Equip ecosystem.